the company formerly known as Blackwater will always be linked to the first decade of the so-called War on Terror. And it should, because it made billions of dollars off it. Blackwater was essentially a private army, a company founded by a right-wing former Navy SEAL Eric Prince, who made a lot of money providing mercenaries to the U.S. government. The invasion of Iraq was a gravy train for Blackwater. The State Department contracted it to guard American officials around Iraq, but soon allegations began surfacing that put the company in the spotlight. These included drunken behavior, drug use, overbilling the State Department, that means you, taxpayer, smuggling weapons, and harming civilians. When the State Department sent an official to Baghdad to investigate these allegations, a Blackwater manager threatened to kill him. So, what did the U.S. Embassy there do? It told the investigator to leave Iraq immediately because he was disturbing Blackwater's operations. A few weeks later, Blackwater guards killed 17 civilians at Baghdad's Nisar Square. It was a turning point for both Blackwater and the U.S. war in Iraq. The Iraqi government dropped the immunity contractors had from Iraqi courts and made those companies apply for a license to work in Iraq, but wouldn't give one to Blackwater. In 2009, the State Department said it wouldn't renew Blackwater's contract in Iraq. The name was becoming toxic. So the company changed it to Z Services. But the bad publicity continued. In 2010, five former executives were charged with illegally hiding weapons at the company's headquarters in North Carolina. The case fell apart when the defense claimed Blackwater was keeping the guns for the CIA. Z's identity as the company formerly known as Blackwater was hard to shake off, so it renamed itself again in 2011. It's now known as Academy, and the company's new president says he wanted to be more boring. But the interesting question is, how can these private armies be held accountable? The U.S. spent $640 billion on weapons in 2013 alone. It's also the number one exporter of weapons to the world.